Okay. I'm going to um, go over the corrections to the walking tutorial real quick because you're going to need this in order to use the uh, the upcoming map tutorial using the map maker. And, okay, let's see. First off, we're going to clear the screen and then uh, fill it with grass tiles using BG Fill. Then we're going to set and scale the sprite for our cat. Uh, X and Y max are the maximum X and Y coordinates that our cat can move, aka I'm, I'm setting the edges of the screen so our cat can't just walk off the screen. Old is a variable that stores the last known sprite number for the cat in its normal standing state. This helps us make the cat face the correct direction after it's done walking. Uh, anim is a variable I set in order to keep track of our animations, and it's just kind of like a counter. Now, let's look at the main loop. Okay. Uh, we start off by setting B to our button function. I also throw in uh, SPOFS with the X and Y coordinates as variables so that I can change those and move the position of my sprite. Then I just print my X and Y coordinates at the bottom of the screen for testing purposes. Now comes my if statements. Let's see, I have if button is equal to zero or greater than eight and the character is facing left, then change the sprite to the cat standing facing left. And then I have the opposite. Uh, if button is equal to zero or greater than eight and the character is not facing left, then change the sprite to the cat facing right. Now for the directions, if the up button is pressed, then uh, go to the subroutine named at up. And here we go. And inside at up, I start off by incrementing my anim variable by one each time the program uh, takes us to the subroutine. Once anim equals 10, then we're going to change our sprite to the first walking animation frame. Next, when anim gets to 20, we use the same frame, we just flip it uh, so that the cat is stepping with the other foot this time. Now if anim gets to be greater than 20, we set the number back to 1 so that we could start the animation all over again. Before the subroutine is over, we make sure our old variable has the cat facing up and we set left to false, indicating that the sprite doesn't need to be flipped before moving it up uh, one Y position and re returning to our main loop. And it's pretty much the same idea for down and right. Left is going to be the only one that's different. Uh, let's see. That's because uh, we have to set our left variable to true this time so that whenever it comes back up to line 16 in our main loop Let's see, then it knows that left is true, and it will flip our sprite facing left uh, for the standing position. 